Welcome techies to the prevention test of Sophos Home Free Antivirus. And in this test, we're going to be taking a look at the abilities of Sophos and how well it can protect this system from malware. But pretty much you guys already know this is going to happen. But anyways, as you can see, Sophos says that this system is secured. Automatic virus protection is on. Let's close out the interface. We don't need that open. And we're going to go ahead and get kill switch. We're not kill switch. Um, process Explore open right here so that we can keep an eye on all the processes running on the system and then get VX Vault open right here because clean-mx is not working for some reason. So, oh, well, look at that. I just say it's not working and it starts working. Isn't that cool? But yeah, it's always been slow on the virtual machine. Don't really know why. Anyways, everything's enabled. Everything's good to go. Let's start with the first link. Possible threat. Well, we will determine if that's a possible threat now, won't we? Website blocked, high risk. So, looks like Sophos blocked the website. Score one for Sophos. And uh, negative point for me so far because I didn't have Notepad open to keep track of all this stuff. So, we're gonna go ahead and quick number this ever so quickly to 10. We're gonna run 10 malicious URLs. And link number one here was blocked. Cool. Let's hope, so that possible threat looks like, according to Sophos, was a threat. Uh, so some generic malware here. I think this is the same link, isn't it? Same URL? Yes, it is. So we're not going to count that one because that was the same URL. I should read a little bit more. All right. Uh, we're going to click on... We'll do this one right here. This is a Trojan, supposedly. And it might be dead. Okay, website blocked. So, so far the web filter is taking charge of this system. We'll see this one here. Just click on one. Seeing it's doing so good, I'm just going to start randomly clicking on links. All right, so it appears this one could not be verified by smart screen, but we're not dealing with smart screen. We are dealing with Sovos. Let's run it. Okay, protected your PC. We want to run it anyways. And it could not run. Now, why couldn't it run? Was it blocked by Sovos or it just couldn't run? Okay, I did see something right there for a second. I think it did run, but it crashed. So uh, that's going to be a, I'm going to call it a miss, but it did crash. So I'll make a note of that right there. So it might just be a bad piece of malware. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll try this one here. This looks like it could be okay. And that is blocked. So I'm not even going to go any further into that one because it's blocked. No point. All right. Now let's see what we got here. Can we get something a little bit more exciting? Let's try some JavaScript here. Well, it's blocked, so it's not going to do anything. We're already up to number six, guys. This test is going along really smoothly. Um, oh, that hello phone, thank you. Uh, let's see here. We got two. Everybody wants to talk to me when I'm doing a review. It always seems like. All right. Um, so I think seeing we're up to number six here, we're going to go to VX Vault. Uh, we're going to take a break from this. Eh, maybe I'll do one more. We'll do one more. Find a nice good one here. A nice juicy link. No, maybe not. Oh, these are all junk. All right. We'll try this one right here. What the hell? All right. Need a good link. Something. Oh, right, and it's blocked. You know, it's like I'm disappointed it's blocked. I mean, usually I'm ecstatic, right? want to see something tonight no actually I'm really excited this is this is going really well because it so far looks like it'd be a very good candidate um, for novice users and by the way uh, for you you know who you are you recommended me uh, clicking the little URL right there to make it easier and uh, by gosh this is like a godsend right here yeah I feel like an idiot for not seeing this earlier but hey we all make mistakes right so let's go ahead and we'll uh, start with link number one here I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste that into Edge here and see what we get. Now, these are relatively new links, so they should be very unknown to any sort of anti-malware solution. And this is where the, uh, well, as you can see, this is where the behavioral detections would come in. And that executed no problem whatsoever, and it's running right there. Great. All right, then. So that one was a complete miss right there. Uh, system does appear to be a little bit sluggish and you can see it is taking up some CPU cycles there um, yeah so I can definitely feel the system slowing down uh, let's go ahead and that's the same one right there let's try this one right here 
So this is going to be number seven, or number eight, guys, sorry. Okay, so this appears as if the URL has been taken offline. Uh, so we're not even going to try that one again. We'll try this one right here and see how this one works. All right, and that one was blocked. That's good to see. That's very good to see. So number nine, we have two more left, guys. I think what we're going to do is we're going to, oh, we'll stick with this one right here. We'll stay with this source. So we'll try this one right here for our number a nine. And that one's blocked. Number 10. We'll try, let's try this one right. Oh, no. Just just the one, please. Not, not all of them. I'm not going to be greedy. All right, and that one is blocked too. Wow, guys, uh, this is this is fantastic. Uh, so so far, it looks like it's only missed one for sure. We can confirm that. Uh, it missed the other one, but it looks like it may have crashed. So it could have just been some benign piece of software that some bozo wrote and thought it would work and you know make them look really cool. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna try just a couple more here. I'm just curious to see. Seeing this went so quick, just run a bunch of them. Uh, so this one. Might be dead. Ah, forget it. We're good. We're good. So we ran 10, 10 links, like I said, and only missed uh, one for sure and possibly another one. Not bad at all. Now comes the uh, other portion of the test right here, guys. So let's go ahead and extract this malware here. But first, before we do that, we're going to go ahead and have to open up the interface here. And this is where it's kind of a pain in the butt because obviously I want to disable the antivirus or the real-time scanner on here. So we have to open it up the interface. We have to go to Edge, and it says, hmm, something happened because why is it saying that? Okay, there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and actually, no, 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 let's not do that. Let's just do this here. I know I'm all over the place, guys, here right now, but uh, I'm going to open up my browser right here, and we are going to go ahead and go to, I think it's home.sofos.com. All right, well, let's go there. Here we go, perfect. And we'll log in right over here. And look at that. So I can log in anywhere. Now keep in mind guys that I'm on a VPN right now. Um, well, actually my host PC is on a VPN, so never mind. All right, so let's go here and we're gonna disable the virus protection here. So if we go back over here, and then this eventually will go by the wayside. You will see. Any minute now. Any second now. Let's update now, maybe that'll do it. Auto updating. Scanning is disabled. Oh no. All right. So now what we can do, guys, is we can go ahead and extract our malware. There it goes. Untouched by Sophos because we disabled it. And can we? Yes, we can do a context scan, it looks like. All right. Awesome. So let's see what we have here. We have 400. And let's see. This is malware. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we have 412 files here in this folder. 412 of them quite a bit. So we're going to go ahead and do our contact scan with Sophos. Start the scan, see what it can do, see what it can find. Uh, so, so far it looks like it is finding threats uh, and deleting them as we speak. Now, there's another thing I should mention, guys, about Sophos, is some people have complained uh, that you have no option to quarantine threats. It just deletes them. Uh, so as you remember in my last video, was it Crystal Security, how I explained the problems with deleting things on your system? is they can then cause other problems. So that's the same principle here. If there's a piece of malware that's incorporated in your system that, well, not necessarily a piece of malware, but uh, a Trojan, let's say, injected, and I'm getting now some malware uh, requests for malware bytes over here, or some prompts, I should say, from the web blocking key, uh, engine. Sorry, guys. Anyways, so I disabled that so that whatever it wants to do, it can talk, because obviously there's some malware running on this virtual machine here. But uh, yeah, deleting pro deleting files that have been infected by malware that are system files or critical files, 
uh, essentially can lead to instability in the system or break the system entirely. And when you delete that and have no way of recovering that, such as putting it in a quarantine, that's going to be problematic. So that's all I wanted to say. And uh, when this scan is complete, it's already found 20 threats. It's not really going the fastest in the world, but uh, hopefully it'll complete soon and not keep me up all night because i got to work tomorrow. Anyways, I'll pause the video. When it's done, we'll be back. We'll take a look at what it found. All right, so the scan has finished, and it did take its own sweet time. So while it was taking its own sweet time, I decided to check my phone, which I discovered that one of my clients is having a printer issue again. So, yay, <laughs> printer issues. Anyone who's in the IT field knows that there was the dreaded printer is just, it, they're horrible. Printers, hate them. Anyways, getting back to the review here, as you can see, it says it found 209 threats, and 153 of them had been removed. Well, why couldn't it remove the other ones? Who knows? Anyway, so we have new alerts here, it says. We're going to go ahead and click on new alerts and see what comes up. All right, so it actually does provide an interface here with all the alerts that are in here. Okay, so it looks like we can delete these, but I have to go through and delete them individually. Oh dear lord, can I somehow, so that's going to, no, I don't want to do that. So that's, I got to go through here and delete them all. All right, guys. Well, I guess seeing there's no delete all button, we're going to have to go through here and delete all these, which means that uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the video. So I'll be back once I delete all of these. So I went ahead and removed all the threats that were remaining in the folder there, and now it essentially wants me to reboot the computer so I can complete the removal process of these threats which are not even running on the system, so I don't know why it needs me to reboot because they're not tied into RAM at all, so there's no need to clear out the RAM. But just to make everybody happy and to make Sophos happy, we're going to go ahead and we'll click on this fancy new start menu down here, or we're going to restart. Ugh. But it wants me to update rats oh well so once this is done here doing its thing we're gonna be back and we're gonna go ahead and run the remaining malware after which seeing how much it did actually detect and see how well sophos will be able to block malware that it doesn't know about well with no sort of behavioral engine in the program uh it probably is not going to do too well i'm just going to tell you that right out so don't expect too much but if there is uh, some blockage going on, we'll call it, uh, then, then, hey, great, better for, better for Sophos. But we'll wait and see how the test results are before we start uh, trying to make conclusions of something that we don't even know about yet. So, see you in a bit. All right, everyone, so upon reboot, we have a lovely run DLL error over here, but i uh, not going to worry about that right now. Let's go ahead and take a look at what Sophos has detected. So we started out with 412 and we're down to 11 files now. So far that's not too bad at all. Let's take a look at uh, what the number percentage wise here. So let's grab our calculator here. The trusted calculator app. The always mediocre calculator app. Oh man, it's gonna be one of those nights, isn't it? Let's go ahead and type in our numbers here before we get completely out of hand. All right, so 97% detection rate. It's pretty good. Uh, definitely really good to see that Sophos has that high of a detection rate. And quite honestly, I'm not surprised just because of their superiority in the enterprise field. I would expect that to translate over into the home field, if you want to call it that. Uh, so let's see what we have left here. Uh, now, I just do want to point out that uh, in the log here, if I can pull that up, here we go. There are some threats here that are unable to be removed uh, and it says manual cleanup is required. So uh, I'm not gonna go ahead and do that just because it's gonna take a lot of time just to sit here and sift through this whole log and I don't really feel like going that far in depth. Plus, I really don't think the average user is gonna actually go that far in depth if they have multiple infections to uh, removing them and they'd also have to know where to go. Granted, you can't just copy and paste uh, this right here in a sense and it will navigate you uh, right to the folder if you copy that into the uh, explore window of your computer but uh, nevertheless I just feel it's unnecessary right now so we're not going to deal with that so detection rate may be higher uh, but the removal rate is going to be 97% we'll call it so we'll go ahead and move this back over here 
and then we're gonna go ahead and open up the folder here and see what we have here okay so we got some applications obviously they're all applications and we're gonna go ahead and run them so let me get process explorer open here now Sophos did recommend a full system scan so we'll do a full system scan but we're gonna do it after we're done running the malware on the system just so I don't have to keep being redundant with my scans okay what do we got running is our malware still running on the system at is the question or did the reboot take it out which may be the reason we have that run DLL error popping up uh, it does not appear as if our malware is running still so that is a good thing but we're gonna change that we're gonna run some malware so let's do this one right here uh, this doesn't really look like it's much in the way of doing anything uh, we'll try this one all right so it requires dotnet framework I'm not gonna sit around and wait for that so we're just gonna forget about that one all right so is that one running or is it just gonna sit there whatever you know maybe these aren't even gonna work could be okay well that one worked okay I guess it stopped working it might be a legitimate uh, application there with some sort of malware injected into it we'll move on here so that one looks like it ran but then didn't do anything uh, that one looks like it had a command prompt of some sort so whatever it did it most likely did it already okay download oh CNET oh great you know there's never any adware with them okay uh, setup.exe it just looks like it's some adware so yeah forget about it it's getting kind of late I got I'm kind of trying to speed this up a little bit here okay that one looks like it crashed and that's the same one and then last one right here this will be it last link uh, program might have not installed correctly well, we'll, we'll try the compatibility settings you know make sure that maybe run as an administrator or something of that sort I uh, did see some I think it was Russian up there I uh, did not work correctly oh darn so and there goes my phone again anyways so what we're gonna do now is I'm going to attempt to delete this folder of malware uh, of course naturally we can't because there's something running in there so we're gonna go ahead and just figure out what's running and uh, we'll not worry about that so we'll delete everything else and whatever is running uh, this right here it appears uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, forget about that all right looks good it's very empty the recycle bin and then we'll start a full system scan now if I remember correctly we do have the option in here to start a scan through the client interface and we don't have to do don't have to do it through the web portal there we go so let's go ahead and do that we're gonna go ahead and click scan now and uh, there's our full system scan right there so we're gonna run a full system scan see what it finds if it finds anything uh, remove it and then we'll well we'll actually just run a system scan with everything and see what it detects that's what we're really looking for here we're just looking for a detection rate so um, I'm gonna start a scan with Hitman Pro right now as well as Norton Power Racer and then come back see the results and uh, find out how well Sophos Home did can it compete with the enterprise solution who knows so we'll see you in a bit all right so the scans have finished and it looks as if Sophos has found one threat so it states that uh, if we click OK we should be able to find the threats full scan results well, I'd like to see what the scan results are can I see the scan results well I don't think it's gonna show me oh that's right I'm not logged in there am I still logged in over here no log me up oh well all right so it removed one threat it said okay great let's go ahead and check out hitman pro what did hitman pro find so hitman pro states that it found a threat as well now um, this one is a heuristic detection uh, but I do not like the location of it due to the fact that it's in the Windows folder uh, that is definitely a va very bad location so that's really gonna knock down the score of Sophos right there just because of how bad that piece of malware is and the location it's in so it's a Trojan and it's in the Windows folder not good granted it is not running right now uh, we've proven that before when we checked out process Explorer but it's still there and it has the capabilities to run just because of the location it's in all right and then this right here if we look at I'll put them side by side so you can see them there we go uh, we do have Norton Power Racer which has stated it found a file uh, if we click on the info here if we 
Uh, that's right, you gotta click over here. Uh, where is it located exactly? All right, uh, so it is located in roaming. Okay, so that is related, I believe, if I remember correctly, the run DLL error, uh, that is related to that. Uh, don't quote me on that, guys, but I'm just trying to go from memory here what I saw earlier. So uh, if we remove that, uh, that may fix the run DLL error, but for sure you can always go in the registry and uh, remove the entry there, or run a register cleaner if you don't wanna go sifting through the registry. That'll work too. Anyways, so reputation, bad, okay, there we go. So yeah, this file is definitely something that you'd want to remove, but this one's not as serious due to the fact that it is in the temporary locations. And I find that fight, uh, quite interesting how the developer is uh, Microsoft Corporation. I think that is um, not true for that. I'm just gonna go on a limb there and say that. So, but that is that. So not many threats found on the system. Uh, and then, then the one in the folder here. Yeah, whatever, you know, not a big deal. It's in that folder, it's not running. So only realistically two threats on this system and that is it. So Sophos did a bang up job, I'd have to say, at protecting this system and preventing it from getting infected from the way that it's set up, considering it doesn't have any sort of behavioral engines in it. Uh, so that's really nice to see right there. Overall, with that said, I think it's time for a verdict on the prevention abilities and the usability of Sophos free or home free antivirus. Overall, uh, I would have to say usability wise and interface wise, it is fantastic. I think that it is set up perfectly. I think that uh, in the sense of the way everything's laid out, I do however think that they can improve a little bit on the usability in the way of for advanced users, at least in the interface. Uh, I think that they should have a ability for you to actually type in your credentials inside this user interface somewhere and then unlock a second part of the interface that will then in turn let you uh, alter settings, disable scan settings, things like that. I think that would be a very nice feature to add. I do think that just using it through the web por portal is a little bit cumbersome. Uh, when trying to troubleshoot things, especially considering you have to wait for the servers to respond and then in turn disable your security on the client here. So that would be something nice to see right there. I do love the web portal though of Sophos. I think that it is fantastic. And like I stated, uh, other companies are gonna be going towards this, uh, Komodo being one of them. I've already kind of tried it out and I was thinking about making a video about it, but it's just not ready yet. It's re it's still in beta and, and trust me, it, it deserves to be in beta still. It needs. Um, quite a bit of support still in the sense of software. It's just not the software support is not there yet for the uh, um, Komodo one. There is the name of it. So uh, with that said, getting back to Sophos here. Uh, so far, user interface, like I said, I would give it give it a really good rating. Uh, it just needs a few tweaks here and there, and I think that's pretty easy to uh, ask for. Not much in the way there. Uh, Security-wise, how did it perform at preventing the computer from getting infected? I say it, would, it did a very good job. Uh, considering the fact that, like I said, doesn't have any behavioral detections, it did a wonderful job in that area. I would like to still see some sort of uh, HIPS engine in here though, or other behavioral uh, engines, maybe such as a containment uh, unit, a sandbox that is. Uh, something of that sort. I just think that it really is lacking that in the way of security. And if they added something like that, you could potentially make this a very, very good product. Uh, the detection rate is there. You saw 97% detection rate. Uh, put the links, it detected only missed uh, one of them, two possibly. So that in that area too, that was great. Web filters, awesome. Uh, d signatures, awesome and potential unwanted uh, programs. We really didn't see much of that, but we did see a couple of detection, uh, detections of that in the malware folder test. So uh, with that said too, I think it, it, you know, it did a pretty good job of protecting the system from getting infected that way. Uh, we didn't run that much malware or adware, so I can't give you a full, bon full blown verdict on, hey, it does good on adware too. But uh, from what I saw, it, it detected a couple pieces of adware. So. But every antivirus and every anti-malware solution needs to work on adverse. So I think that's going to be it for the prevention test. Uh, bottom line, it did a great job. I would like to see some things improved in it, though. Hips and uh, some changes to the user interface. But uh, overall, I would consider running this on a client's PC. Uh, if they uh, wanted something free and lightweight, I would say that this is a, a decent option right here, something especially that I can manage then uh, remotely and not have to be at their computer. That is a huge plus in itself right there. 
Uh, now granted, you can use remote assistance and I use that for all my clients anyways, but nevertheless, this is a wonderful option to keep track of the security on their system, make sure that they're still protected. So that's it for the prevention test of Sophos. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we're gonna be going and doing a removal test on it soon here to see whether it actually is able to remove malware from an already infected system. Now we saw the detection rate was 97%, so let's hope that translates into the test itself. Now we have encountered tests though that have not uh, done that. You know, detection rates don't exactly mean it's gonna be good at removing malware. So that's something to uh, keep in mind when, doing, when, when uh, waiting for that to come around. So hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next review.